Greetings! I was playing a little bit more with the motor that I've managed to reverse the rotation of and I've broken it, uh, so I've gone too far. I was trying to see how much uh, I can strip out of it and I've gone too far. So then I've moved on to the circuit board and that got me really interested because brushless DC motors are normally a pain to drive. They, they require specific waveforms and um, all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful things to make them uh, go appropriately. But this one has got um, hardly anything and we know the driver is not external because this works on um, on DC voltage so all that happens is DC goes into this and it starts spinning and it does it quite well so I figured let me work out what the circuitry on here is and understand on how it's working so I've traced it out based on the connections over here and that's uh, pre my modification but even so uh, only this point would this is what I actually broke uh, those connections over here um, on when I changed the rotation and just swapped them places that caused it to rotate the other way around but looking at this um, there is only a handful of components uh, a protection diode the Hall effect sensor which is in this case is U18 it's a large type Hall effect sensor two transistors um, two resistors two caps and that's it so it's a really simple circuit what's happening the way this works, at first when you uh, apply voltage to the fan this transistor is switched off um, but this one switches on because it's pre-biased with a two, um, 2k1 resistor and that switches on basically it switches on slowly because it's got a cap on the uh, pulling the base to the ground so the voltage rises here slowly switches this on transistor and gently switches on the first coil which makes the rotor turn a little bit um, to a point where the magnetic poles align with the stator at, at that point the Hall effect sensor kicks in and it pulls the base down to the ground so this slowly starts discharging the cap because it's uh, it's putting out low switches off this transistor and then what happens the, this transistor gets switched on by cu current going through the coil for the windings of the motor and another 2k1 resistor and starts charging up the cap and slowly switches on the other coil at which point it makes it turn a little bit further now at that when it reaches the when the poles align the whole effect sensor has got a different pole uh, facing it so it will latch to the opposite side and will pull it high and what happens yet again uh, this transistor gets switched on because this is gets switched on it's pulling base of the other one down to ground anyway so this one switches off this one switches on and it makes another bit of turn uh, because of those caps over here the, it's not jerky the caps are slowly charging so it's making those turns relatively slowly and it's not uh, not a square wave drive and that's that's all there is to it. I'm amazed how simple the circuit is, um, how how little of active components is required to drive a two-phase brushless motor. Unfortunately, with a three-phase motors, it's quite more complex. There is the four-wire and three-wire connection, and three-wire is even more difficult to drive than than the four-wire, uh, and those require, as I said, special circuits and special drive uh, ICs to to get them spinning and but this is really really simple so for a two-phase brushless motor uh, this is ideal I mean you could drive this use this sort of setup this sort of circuit to drive a lot a lot more powerful uh, BLDC motors all you probably need to do is put some bigger caps on here sorry bigger transistors and th that's all there is to it um, other than that that's it uh, I thought I'll share my findings on this um, I'm not sure whether anyone bothered to reverse engineer such a trivial device like a PC fan before but anyways um, hope you enjoyed this little little short reverse engineering and yeah subscribe for more random stuff uh, give me a like if you enjoyed it and that's all take care